when making something with toilet paper, you need something on the inside to help hold it up. So I have an old hand cream container right here. And you can see I have sheets of toilet paper I've already cut. Uh, so that there are maybe 10 layers all together and then I wet them and place it on the top of the hand cream container. And I'll keep doing layers, probably about three total all the way around. And you can see every time I dip the toilet paper in the water, I squeeze out the excess. Next you'll see me take some dry sheets of toilet paper, I put it around the outside of the form and press it with my hands and the water that's already there will soak into the toilet paper and that's just another way to add it once you have a good initial layer. Now I'm cutting up some toilet paper so that I have some sheets that are the same size and I'm going to make some flowers and some leaves and some piping around my cake. To make the piped icing, take a few sheets of toilet paper Put it in the water, squeeze out the excess, and then roll it up. Place it around the edge of the cake. To attach it later on, I'll take some dry sheets of toilet paper or some wet ones and put it so that it covers the piping and also touches the cake. And that way it will glue it to the surface. Now I'm going to do the top line of icing. To make it so it looks even, I'm cutting it to the exact point where it meets, and then I'll go over it with toilet paper and that helps attach it to the rest of the form. And now I'm just smoothing out different areas, patting it with my hand. Unless you sand it, it's never going to be completely smooth. So you are going to have some rough patches, but that's okay. It kind of adds to it, gives it some texture. Now I'm making a rose. So you can see I rolled up a little rectangle of toilet paper, dipping it in the water, squeezing it out, and forming it. You can see I made another rectangle, squeezed it out, added it around the rose I had already made to make it wider and I'll make three of these flowers. As you work, you might find some places that need a little help, so go ahead in and fix them as you go. Once your cake dries, it will be completely solid, and then we'll paint it with some acrylic paint at the end of the video. So here I'm taking a stiff paintbrush, and I'm just moving things around and making them look a little bit better. It's a different way to move the material versus using your fingers. You can kind of get into the edges. And I'm just going in and finessing all those little spots where it's a little too bumpy. All right, so I've made three flowers. Now I'm gonna make some leaves. So I have some sheets of toilet paper, I wet it a little bit, and then I cut it into the shape of leaves. If you don't want the leaves to be flat, let them dry so that they're somewhat curved on the surface. It's all done, now we're going to let it dry. It should take a day or two. Uh, so now I am taking acrylic paint and painting on the icing.
So you can see here, I painted the flowers light blue, but actually I changed my mind and I'll paint them yellow later on. Uh, right now I'm just painting the leaves, both sides. And even though that's white, like I said, it's like a little, not quite as white as I'd like. So I'm going over it with some white paint where the piped icing is at the top and bottom. Now I'm going in and making sure I got all the little spots. All right, so now I'm gonna paint those flowers yellow. glue you could use clear glue or white glue either one will work and just play around with the arrangement of the flowers till you like the way they look and that's it you've made a toilet paper cake